Stars here and today I'm super excited because we are finally going to be doing that other craft I told you about. Uh, it's not technically a craft anymore. Some things changed. The uh, original case that I had wanted didn't fit my uh, this. Uh, yeah, as you can tell, we're going to be customizing my Nintendo Switch OLED to Cinema Roll. I'm gonna Cinema Rollize it. Cinema, 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 it? Cinema, Cinema Roll it. We're gonna Cinema Roll it. That's what we're gonna do. So, as you can probably tell by the loud jingling sound, we have this little keychain here that I did get from Baffled Cat, Baffled Cat Crafts. Um, I did show this off in my small business Saturday video. I will link that video in the corner somewhere. So, and of course I will link the case, like the case and stuff in the description down below. So here is the hardcover plate that I got. Super cute. Um, it doesn't look like the back, it doesn't look like the back portion of this extends. It kind of stinks, it kind of looks like it was molded to open, but it's not. Hmm. I'll have to check that out. Um, and then these are, this is the cap on part for the Joy-Con. I'm sorry if you hear like a weird buzzing sound. There's a dragonfly stuck in here. And he won't. He won't leave. Um, and then it also comes with these little Joy Joy-Con cap things. Yeah. <laughs> in English. Um, let me actually check and see if this was supposed to open up because I may have gotten a okay. After looking it over, it does appear that you cannot use the um, the back part, which is kind of weird. So on, if you have a Switch OLED, or if you don't, I will show you anyway, um, they have this adjustable stand in the back. I love this part, this is so cool. I'm so glad they did this. But they have that in the back, um, which if you play it like in tabletop mode, then, you know, but if you don't play, mode you're in trouble um sometimes i do play in tabletop mode like you know if, if it's kind of noisy and i want to be in sunroom they get to the sunroom whatever i've had so much trouble trying to find a a case and i don't know you know what we're just gonna go through with it it's fine i don't need to play the whole button top i know how to use hand and plus i think it's pretty easy to snap off so we are going to Go ahead and we're going to change camera view so we can get this switch cine cine rolled cine roll cinnamon cinified I don't know all right so first what we're gonna do is the joy cons um, I did test this too my my only gripe with this is here and I'll show you. My only gripe is that this back part you kind of have to you kind of you have to force this down if you want to use like if you want to use that. So I don't think I'm going to use that. I think I think I'm just going to snap on the front plate cover. Cause this still, this will still kind of, it'll still stay on here, I think. Let's see. Yeah, it kind of stays. And I think I can still. Oh, not like that. Hello. Yeah. I wonder if I could find a different one. Hmm. I wonder if I could find a different one for the back. But it's so cute like this. I just wish that it would stay. I want to play in handheld mode. Hmm. Oh well. Okay. So let's 
let's see. The purpose of this video, I will just, I will put everything together. I won't, I won't cheap out. Okay, and then you'll hear a click. This will be good for people who play in handheld mode. Um, but if you do play like tabletop or um, docked mode, you really won't be able to use this. You'd have to play with Joy-Con separately or use a Pro Controller. I think it's just purely for design, honestly. Uh, okay, but there's this. And obviously, obviously I'm going to be using the Cinema Roll ones because they are too stinking cute. Come on. Yeah. Okay, so there's his animal thumb grip. Uh, I learned, I had this trick where you roll it all the way back, place it on, place it on top. Boom. It's on there. That is, that is adorable. I love that. I just wish that this part would fit in here. Because it looks like it would. But it doesn't. That's so sad. And I don't want to force it. So I'm going to leave that alone. Let's go ahead and do the other one. Put this like, like that. Okay. And then this. Like this. And click. No, no, no click. Wait a second. Wait a second. No click. There we go. Click. Click, 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 click. All around. Okay. Then, I like that they give you two pairs because you could do like a cinema roll and a wider blue paw or just both cinema rolls or... There we go. Oh, nope. Good? Are we good? Yeah, okay. There we go. This one's a little scuffed up, but that's okay. So here are the Joy-Cons. These are so cute. The camera isn't really doing it justice right now, but it's so... So cute in person. Okay. So now we are going to do the back. Ignore the dirty spots. <laughs> so here's the plate. And just stick it on like this. And it snaps right on. There you go. And then. There we go. It is so cute. That is so adorable. I just wish that this would, yeah. Then, put our dust plug from the Whole Cat Crafts. That's so adorable. Oh my gosh. Put it back. Yeah, this would be good for like if you play in handheld mode. The buttons, the buttons are in their little cozies. It feels kind of, feels kind of weird. I don't know. I feel it feels weird. Let, let's do a little small gameplay thing and, and see how I feel about these buttons. <laughs> so these cinema roll grips feel a little weird. Um, I have to change to the, the paw ones because I don't feel like I have a good grip with the cinema roll ones. But that's okay because they can go on my shelf. buttons here are in like, I don't know if you guys could see it, 
but it's like a little a little cove here and then these these kind kind of have a cove but it's not as deep so it's kind of like your thumb kind of glides over the buttons I mean, I don't mind playing Splatoon in handheld mode. That was, that's the main thing I was just worried about. That's all. Uh, okay, let me switch over to the other one, the other grips, and see if those will feel better. Oh, grips! These feel different too. These feel more sturdier, and these are thin. I got the claw grips on. These feel better. Yeah, this feels better. So now, it's time for another test. Uh, one of the reviews said that this was not dockable. So, it may look cute and all. You know, I do give it some points off for it actually having the, in, the imprint, like the indent to ex extend this, but it doesn't. Um, so we're gonna see if it docks, and if it doesn't, then I'm returning it. Okay, over here in my gaming corner, uh, let's see, let me move my, my off-doing hat. Goodbye. Uh, okay, so here is my Switch dock, let's see. Okay, and I'm returning it. Okay, well that was sad and pitiful. Um, and now I will deconstruct it and send it back. <laughs> um, but if you guys are interested, if you have a Nintendo Switch um, OLED version, or even, I don't even know if you could even use it for the other Switch version. But if you have one of these and you play it in handheld mode, and like basically handheld mode only. It's like they wanted to make it for the Switch Lite, but you know, but uh, yeah. I wouldn't recommend this. I'm not even gonna leave a link or anything. I do not recommend it. It's just primarily for looks. So next time you see me do one of these videos, I will probably do something different. I think my next plan is to just get a clear, clear case that has this open. This is open, and that my Joy Cons can slide through my grip and it's dockable. And then I will just buy a cinnamon roll skin and put it on top of that clear cover because we love some customization when it comes to our our video game and things like that, right? So, maybe that's what I'll do. Yeah, that was disappointing. Uh, I'm just gonna have to continue my search. Um, I'm not going to put a skin actually on my Switch because the residue it will leave behind is kinda icky and I don't want any of like, the goop getting in the buttons or in my, um, this, what is this? My analog stick because I don't want it to drift or have problems. I will have to continue hunting and yeah if you guys have any suggestions or if any of you guys have customized switches leave please feel free to leave comments i love reading you guys comments i, oh, I always heart comments i always heart comments. i heart comments so so yeah thank you guys so much for watching um hopefully hopefully next time we'll be better so yeah don't forget to stay kawaii